Hello amigos, como estas? Welcome back to the channel. So it's officially official, um, about 24 hours ago, give or take a few hours, um, Chivas announced that they have signed Roberto El Piojo Alvarado from Cruz Azul. Um, from my understanding, and I've just done a little bit of research because it's pretty complicated I think, but basically I think they're going to get Antuna, Ulu Antuna and um, Mayorga in exchange. I think the um, the actual deal is that um, no money is going to get exchanged. But then if Cruz Azul sell Antuna or, or uh, and or Chivas sell Alvarado, then each club gets half of the fee. So if Chivas sell Alvarado again, then half of the fee will go to Cruz Azul and vice versa with Antuna. So bit of a complicated one obviously i think may, maybe both teams have been affected by covid um, i know that chivas are quite stretched with money so i think chivas has done pretty well i mean my is a bit of a blow um he's a decent left back and um probably our starting left back i mean i like calderon and i hope calderon now gets a chance but um yeah my is going to be a loss and antuna as well i rate antuna i would prefer him staying i would have antuna on the right <clears throat> alvarado in the left and vega up top or vega as cam and then another striker but um yeah antuna's not been a bit of, he's been a bit of hit and miss for chivas um came in with quite a lot of uh, promise um hasn't really panned out for him unfortunately um obviously some disciplinary issues with vega as well Obviously, uh, him and Vega are best friends, um, I believe, so um, what this does with Vega, I don't know. Um, I'm not going to talk about Vega in this episode, I'm going to save it for a possible future episode. Uh, but at the moment, yeah, I mean, for me, I think Antuna for Alvarado is a decent deal. Uh, like I said, Antuna hasn't been quite clicked, and Alvarado could, um, could do a lot better, I think, because I think he's a bit more of a finished article. Rather than Antuna, Antuna is all pace. Um, he's really good on the ball, but then he runs into channels. He gets ball off the ball. Um, he's got a bit of a dodgy end product as well. Uh, but he's rapid as he's probably one of the fastest players in the league. But um, just doesn't really know what to do with it most of the time, unfortunately. And it hasn't clicked with him. He hasn't had a decent season. I Maybe mean, the whole the whole of really hasn't had a excuse me a decent season, but. Him in particular, you know, you'd expect him and Vega to step up and be the big boys, and uh, he hasn't really. So, but good job for Alvarado to come in. Hopefully, he can do well. I mean, both these players should be in Europe. Let's just be real. Um, they should be making European moves. Obviously, it's one of the one of those things in Mexican football at the moment. I'm not going to get into that either because I could spend about twenty minutes moaning about that, but. On the face of it, from a Chivas perspective, I think it's a decent deal. Um, like I said, Antuna hasn't really cut it, but Alvarado, I think, has promise. Um, uh, if we can keep Vega, I think Alvarado and Vega could have a really good partnership. Um, they have worked well in the Olympics, and I think they're both, uh, they're both bronze medalists um, this year. So, you know, they, they know each other at least. Um, and Alvarado's got bags of talent. He's more than capable of stepping up into this team and being one of the best players in the in the team so uh, especially attacking wise so it's good i think um it just depends whether we can keep vega if we can keep vega um obviously he sent a couple of cryptic posts you know on instagram with him and antuna and on twitter as well but um i think that's more to do with antuna leaving there are strong rumors though that vega could be leaving to Ray, uh, Rayados, monterey and I really, really, really don't want that to happen. Um, I really want us to keep him. If he's not going to go to Europe, I want us to keep him. He's our best player. He's been our best player for about two years now. Um, Alvarado is definitely not um, a re good replacement for both Antuna and Vega. Um, if we sell Vega, then I sure as hell expect, I don't hope, I expect us to bring someone top quality in maybe an eduardo aguirre from santos or um santi jimenez maybe um there's a bit of a issue about whether he's actually eligible quote unquote to play for chivas um but i'd have him in the heartbeat um so yeah um 
for me, this deal is a really good deal. I'm quite happy with it, to be honest with you. I'm quite surprised as well. Um, like I said, I want both of these players in Europe. Everyone does, but in Vega as well. Um, but, you know, a European move for Mexican players is pretty non-existent at the moment, unfortunately. Um, like I said, I can moan about that in another video, and I probably will. Uh, but this one, I'm quite happy with it. As a Chivas fan, I'm quite happy with it. Bearing in mind that... Um, you know, Atuna's gone to Cruz de Sol, uh, Cordova's left America and gone to Tigres, um, we've got an Alvarado, and if Vega does leave, he's more than likely going to go to Monterey, and I can guarantee you, the only people, the only thing that the media is going to focus on is Achievers getting an Alvarado and, you know, whining about the fact that he should be in Europe. Um, all of those players that I've just listed should be in Europe. They're more than capable of being in Europe, thriving in Europe, in my opinion, if they went to the right clubs with the right coach, uh, with the right idea. Um, but Chivas will be the ones that will be accused of holding players back and blah, blah, blah. Um, I mean, the Vegas sale, I mean, I think, you know, Chivas are skint. You know, they absolutely need money if... No Europe, it's a double, it's a double edged sword because there's no, there's no demand from Europe for these players really. Um, so if you're looking at Europe and there's no one buying and you've got a product that will sell loads in Mexico, you're going to sell it in Mexico because you want to get the money and especially if you need it, which Chivas apparently do. So yeah, anyway, enough about Vega. This I'm really happy about the Alvarado deal. Um, I don't know quite how long the contract is. Hopefully it's three years or so. Um, gives him time to bed in a little bit. Hopefully he has a decent time with us. And then um, maybe eventually get to the Europe, uh, get his European move. But um, I'm quite happy with it, to be honest with you. If we can keep Vega, then I'm absolutely buzzing for it because I think Alvarado is a bit of a step up to Antuna. Um, but if we lose Vega as well and only bring in Alvarado as and as well as losing Antuna, I'm going to be well angry because that's not a step up, that's a slight step down. Um, we need to be improving the squad that we have. If we're going to be selling our best players, I want us to bring in top quality players to replace them. Especially if we're selling them to the Monterey clubs who are going to be spending quite a lot of money on our players. I want to see that money reinvested, so we'll have to wait and see. But Alvarado is now a Chiba Hermano, so welcome to the club, guys. Um, but welcome to the club, dude. Um, so I say, and um, let me know, guys, what you think of the move. Are you happy with it? Are you upset about it? Uh, what about Mayorga as well? I mean, like I said, I, I'm quite... I quite like him, to be honest with you, even though I, I really, really like Calderon. And I hope Calderon now gets his starting spot at left back. Um, because, you know, I think he deserves it. He's, he's a quality player. Um, and then, you know, I hope I hope Mayorga and Antuna do well in Cruz Azul. I think um, that they improve that squad. So, you know, they, they're probably going to be in Ligia again, uh, probably more than more likely than we are, um, but you never know, Alvarado might have a blinding season and get us in there, so let me know what you think, and I'll see you in the comments, and I'm taking these guys, and I'll see you guys next time, adios.